Hello Cancer and welcome to Spiritual Wellness Tarot for your November reading. I thank you for spending some of your time with me. I feel so grateful that you have chosen Spiritual Wellness Tarot to help with your spiritual journey. We're going to go ahead and start off with three rows. And that's going to be the first through the tenth. Let's go ahead and start this now. We've got the first through the tenth. We've got the eleventh through the twentieth and the twenty-first through the 30th. And then at the end of the reading, Cancer, we're going to go ahead and um, give you the answers to three yes or no questions. So go ahead and start thinking about your questions, right? What do you want to know a yes or no answer to um, at the end of the reading? So let's go ahead. We've got some other cards out here. This card was first. All right. We just need one more here to get this reading started. Now, for those of you who are new here, my name is Julie, and I am a psychic medium here on YouTube, and I use my psychic gifts to go ahead and help people to, that are, might be feeling lost, right? Or they just might need some, some insight into their future. Now, remember to go ahead and watch your sun, moon, and rising so you can get that overall energy. All right, Cancer, let's see what we have here for the month of November. Well, this is a beautiful start, right? We've got the Ten of Pentacles, and the Ten of Pentacles is all about wealth and, and stability, leaving a legacy, right? I love it. See how they're dancing around? They're ready to leave a legacy. They're financially secure. Um, that's, a, that's a great way to start off the month, right? And then we have the Emperor. The Emperor is that respected leader, right? He's very strategic planning. He's very powerful, then we've got the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands is about competition. So this could be that, um, you know, it's going to be a, it's going to be a great start to the month. You might have a little bit of competition if this is work related. It might be that you have, um, you know, you might have somebody else that is applying for a job, the same job that you are, right? So you might need to tweak that resume a little bit, right? Um, but you know that you're very strategic, you're very strong, you're a very um, powerful person, right? So if you go up for an interview, people are going to fall in love with you because they know, hey, this guy knows what's, what he's talking about, right? Or this gal. Now, you'll find as I, as I read, um, I either say yes or I say she or he. It doesn't necessarily mean it's just the energy, right? So it doesn't necessarily physically mean a he or she. It's just the overall energy and it's just how this grandma talks, right? <laughs> So I look for the, the first 10 days is going to be very powerful, right? You're going to have some competition. You're going to have, um, but you know what? Competition is good, Cancer, right? Trust your gut, right? Because we all know as a water sign, I'm also a Cancer for my son, and um, we listen to our, our intuition. We're very emotional. So realize whatever is going on to listen to your gut, listen to what it is telling you. Second, um, second 10 days, the 11th through the 20th, we're starting off with the Four of Cups, which is about being very, um, very kind, right? Giving, because you like to go ahead and receive, but yet you're still not quite sure, right? So you could have a surprise coming, right? Whatever you are, um, you know, competing for, whether that be a lover, whether that be for a new job or anything else, you might have the surprise and you might have gotten it, right? You might have gotten that new job, that promotion, so definitely keep an eye out for that, but also realize that, that it is good to go ahead and give, right? It's good to have that kindness. So, so you might go ahead, and I don't mean you need to give money. You might just give a smile to somebody, right? But be good, because when we give, that tells the universe we have room, right? We have open room within our soul to receive what the universe wants to give us. We've got the devil here. The devil is all about changing changing things, right? Not necessarily a, a bad thing, right? But, but time for things to change. I think it's interesting. We've got the Ten of Pentacles. We've got the devil. And then we've got the death and rebirth here, right? The, the death card, which is all about, all about getting rid of the old, right? Time, trying to go ahead and, and get rid of the old and the old and have rebirth interesting combination that we have here we've got the empress dang and look we've got the emperor and the empress if this is a love reading for you 
it is going to go ahead and be somebody that comes into your life that is going to be working out well for you. The Empress is about creating. It's about abundance, right? It's about, you see that it looks like that you might have a little baby or whatever. It's about fertility. And that doesn't necessarily mean that it's a fertility of a baby, right? It could be a fertility of a new job, a new business. Maybe you have a new side hustle coming in, right? Interesting. Very interesting. Then we've got the Nine of Wands, which is about keeping boundaries, right? But being very persistent. Time for you to go ahead and move a little bit forward, but just keep those boundaries to see exactly where it's going to lead you. We've got the Page of Wands here. The Page of Wands is about that new project, is about a creative project. I really feel with the cards that are coming here, we've got the Wands, we've got the new the new beginning with the death card, right? You've got the Empress, which is about creativity. Time for you to think about something that is that may be new happening, right? It could be that you're that you're looking for a new, um, gosh, a new side hustle to go ahead and move forward in, right? But whatever you choose, it looks like it's going to go ahead and be a um, be productive for you. Then, of course, like we talked about, we have the death card. The death card is about big changes. Time to move forward, time to move on, right? So I see some changes coming in here, Cancer, for you. We're going to go ahead and get some clarifiers here to see what else we have going. But this really looks like a good reading, right? It looks like that you may have an ending to something, right? But you're going to have a surprise, right? The second, the middle part of November, you're going to go ahead and have a surprise to see exactly, you know, what is happening. Again, could be that you've got a new love coming in. Let's go ahead and move these over a little bit so we have some room for our clarifiers. All right, so clarifying the Ten of Pentacles, we've got the Nine of Wands, which we've got the double Nine of Wands here, right? What I, I always like to use two decks, right? Because that kind of tells me the universe is trying to really show us, hey, you need to pay attention when you've got the doubles or you've got the triples, right? So you've got double nine of wands. Nine of wands, like we talked about, is, is about boundaries, keeping good boundaries. So it might be you've got something coming up, but you just need to hold back a little bit and see what's going on with it. Dang, you got the full card. I love it. New beginnings, Cancer. You've got some new beginnings. Again, we have this death card, right? And rebirth, new beginnings coming up. Now we have the six of cups. Interesting, right? Because the six of cups... Kind of like the Four of Cups is about giving, right? It's about going ahead and kindness, having that innocence, having those good memories, right? Time for a reunion. And that's what this is. And so this could be a surprise, right? You definitely got some type of surprise coming in for you, Cancer. Let's get a clarifier for this Four of Cups. We've got the Page of Wands. Dang, you got the Page of Wands twice, you guys. Look at this with these doubles here. Um, and it's wands. Now, wands is, is a take action um, sign, right? The very spiritual, but they like to move forward. And with the, you know, see how she's throwing that javelin? She's got that javelin in front of you. This page of wands, he's looking, what should I go ahead and be doing, right? He's thinking about a new project. He's thinking about a creative project, right? What should I go ahead and do to move forward into my life? Let's get another card for this devil here. Let's get a clarifier for this devil. The Hierophant, interesting, right? Because the Hierophant is all about good memories, right? All about traditions. Time to go ahead and move forward. All about, um, you know, even forgiveness. If there's something that you need to go ahead and forgive or somebody you need to go ahead and forgive, go ahead and do that. That'll open you up, right? That might be part of the boundaries that you need to go ahead and take care of. All right. Let's clarify this Empress here. Dang, the chariot. I love it, right? Look at all of these major arcanas. We've got the emperor, the fool, the hierophant, um, the devil, or here's the devil up here. We've got the death card. We've got the chariot. Dang, the empress. Wow, I think we've got one under here too. Nope, she's the seven of wands. Okay, so the chariot is all about taking action, right? moving things. It might be that you're getting a new vehicle. It might be that you're moving across across state, uh, you know, so you definitely are moving when, we've, when you've got this page of wands here that is about action, about moving and things. You, you're definitely going to be, um, you know, moving forward, maybe just going on a, on a trip, maybe for the, for the holiday, right? But something is, um, is moving forward for you, Cancer, and I love this because look at all of these wands. Holy crumb. 
All right. Oh, my God. We got the King of Wands on top of the Page of Wands. All right. So the King of Wands is that bold provider, right? He's very powerful. He's very courageous, right? He's very passionate and noble. And he is looking over his land. And so it might be because you've got this noble leader over here also. It might be that somebody might might um, be looking at you as far as a leader goes. It could be that you're offered a job in like management into where you are, right? Um, which again would go ahead and go along with the fool and the new projects that are coming on, the creative kids, right? Might be something new coming up for you. Page of Wands clarified. Oh my God, you guys, I cannot make this up, right? You've got the Queen of Wands. This definitely, if you're looking for a love reading, love is coming, right? The Queen of Wands is a feisty person. She's very confident. She's she's very attractive, right? But she has a fun kind of spirit. So she kind of she kind of lets the King of Wands know, hey, I'm here. I love you, but I'm going to be the feisty one. You can be the strong, bold one, right? But I am here to help my people. I am this nurturing person, right? I am this confident person. Time to move forward. We've got the Queen of Wands. We've got the King of Wands. We've got the Emperor, the Empress. Dang. Love is definitely coming or partnership is coming. Now let's get one more card here for the death card. Oh, shit. You guys, you, I cannot make this up. Look at the amount of major arcanas. You have got some huge changes coming up, Cancer, in the month of November. We've got this strong, courageous strength card with us, right? Time to go ahead and have that self-respect. Have that self-love. Be determined, right? And along with these boundaries here, be determined that you can go ahead and push through those boundaries. Step out of your zone. This is awesome, Cancer. This is just awesome. Look at all of the yellow you've got going on here, right? Time to be happy. Time to move forward. It's going to be a beautiful, beautiful month for you, Cancer. This is just wonderful. Wow. All right, Cancer, go ahead and get your three yes or no questions ready, right? And we'll see what the answers are. This is going to be a wonderful, wonderful month for you, Cancer. All right. First question. What is the answer for the first question to our, or from our Cancerians, angels and spirit guides? Yes or no answer, please, angels and spirit guides. All right. First one is get more information. All right. So that's what we need to do. We need to get some more information about whatever the question is. What is the answer to question number two for our Cancerians? Wait, interesting, right? So you might have to go ahead and I think it's interesting. We've got wait here and we've got get more information. So wait until you have that information. And that kind of goes with the wands, right? With the wands, with the boundaries, the nine of wands. You need to go ahead and realize that sometimes it's, you can wait, right? You need to be patient. You need to move forward. And the answer to our third question for the Cancerians within the next few months. Interesting, right? Perfect. So whatever you're asking about, it's telling us right here. You can see with these three cards, right? Get some more information and wait for that information. Things are going to happen within the next few months. And remember, we had that four of cups, right? Which is about kindness and is about celebration and is about surprise gifts. Wait for that to come through. And, um, you know, it, it might go ahead and be exactly what, what you needed to do is to be patient. So look for some surprises this month in the month of November, Cancerians. And until next time, I love you all. Namaste.